Ah, we've got a JBL uh, 515 XT power board here. And, uh, yeah, the person who it belongs to said <coughs> it was working, and then somebody knocked it over and it didn't work anymore. And it's packed up, and, uh, yeah, what's happened? I can't find the part. It was rattling around inside the, the uh, speaker case when we took it apart, but this is one of the ones that's been used, been sent by. If you buy one of these boards from JBL, it comes without the comp the uh, the uh, termination board on it. So I had to swap the termination board off because he was in a hurry and needed the speak for an amp. So I just gave him one of our service units, and I've got this one to repair now. But what's happened was you here. You see these two wires, two little wires down there. You can just see the ends of them. Not here. Unfortunately I wanted to show you the, resi the actual resistor. So it's quite interesting because it's a white 5 watt 10 ohm resistor that sits on these leads and clearly the vibration from the speaker has caused fatigue of the leads and one end is black and I don't know if you can actually see that there. Can you see that on that wire? I'll just go into tele macro and see if we can see that. There you go, you can see the end of that wire there. Look, That's what we're looking at. It's actually blackened and it was blackened on the resistor so one end of the had broken through and was arcing across but the amplifier was still basically working and this one had obviously been broken for a while and when it was knocked the resistor just dropped off completely. It was just rattling around inside. It wasn't done during disassembly. You could hear it rattling even before we start taking the screws out the front. So my advice to you is if you've got, when this resistor blows actually, it blows that chip up as well and some tracks inside the board, but um, yeah, check whenever you've got one of these out and you're repairing it, just make sure, give that a, a little bit of a twist to make sure it's feeling quite tough, you know, and if necessary what you can do is to move it that way slightly and put a bit of blob of silicon between that capacitor and there to, to support that lead and stop the vibration breaking off and in fact, look at that, actual, bent that just a few times, look, and it's broken off at the base as well. So maybe this resistor was just faulty and had very, very um, weak uh, work hardened copper, because it's a copper wire, copper lead, tin plated copper. But yeah, so watch out for that, because you get stress fractures in there from the vibration, and it's worth checking before you even start doing anything, is to make sure that resistor is in good nick. Just find, find that interesting, because... I've noted them being bent or slightly wonky before, but I've never really considered it's a new, I fixed maybe a hundred of these, maybe more actually, but I've never seen a broken resistor, but I just looked at another one, um, which I did yesterday, and you could tell the resistor was, wasn't really anchored properly, you know, you could feel that the leads were on their way out, and if you can see over here, this little resistor's burnt out as well. So there's going to be a number of components blown by the fact that this thing doesn't like having one of the supply rails missing. Once the supply rail's gone, it goes into weird, weird lock-up mode and, and then things start popping all over the place. So I just thought I mentioned the resistor, you'd find that interesting if you're a, an engineer working on these. If you want more information, just um, we're doing JBL and Bose and all sorts of repairs all the time. Just subscribe, there's a link down the bottom right hand side of the screen, you might find it interesting. Thanks for watching.